everybody, this is Coach Blake coming at you with a practice plan here. This practice plan is designed for U16 AAA players. And if they are not up to that skill level, feel free to kind of tone down the drills so that it, it matches what you are working with. These drills can be used pretty much every age group, but in this scenario is what I'm using, what I'm using this practice plan for. To start, the very first drill we're going to do is my warm it is an easy warm up all right so we're going to put all the pucks right here in the center and a coach put all the players here here and it's a variation drill so the very very first one super simple player is going to just come up here coach will hit him with the pass him or her all right player is going to go one two three one two three crossovers come in shoot Stop in front, hustle back, get out of the way. All right, super simple. Um, if you want to run it on a whistle, if you want to run it without a whistle, it's totally up to your discretion. Uh, as soon as that player makes that, once the coach makes that pass, the other player should be going right away. So same thing, player comes. Always going one, two, three out, one, two, three in, go in, shoot. All right, and then also when they curl to the corner, stop in front, curl to the corner, uh, make sure that they're switching lines. All right, so that's the first drill. And instead of just going straight up the ice, pucks here, they will go, touch the half boards, fast feet, straight across, really mimicking that they're cutting across and getting a pass low and slow through the center. Through the, cent through the center cylinder, coach hits them with the pass, they get up the ice, go in, shoot, shoot to score, stop in front, curl out, get out of the way. Um, obviously same thing go to the other side as soon as that pass is made the next player goes cuts across hit with the pass straight across the middle come down the center of Broadway shoot and try to score on the goaltender third variation flip the lines around shouldn't take more than 10 seconds to do so pucks move up coach there all right coach will make player one coach will make a pass to uh, we'll call this player two player one player one player two come down and around this player is going to get the pass they're going to go button hook up the boards and it is a warm-up drill let player two angle you uh depending on your age level um obviously hit and pin otherwise angle to the boards player one don't put up some some resistance but the goal is to let them have the puck all right go down and around let them angle you into the boards. Let player two take the puck. As soon as player two takes the puck, go down, shoot, and score. All right, player one, again, offer a little bit of resistance through the form of back checking. So back check, but again, we want to make sure we get that shot on net uh, as a warm-up drill, getting the goalies going. So go in, give a couple hacks and slashes. Obviously, don't hurt your teammate, um, but... Go in, apply a little pressure, make them skate fast, and go stop in front and curl off to your corners, get back to the end of the line. And then the big thing here too, after you go, get out of the way. So stop, hustle up to your line because saying the next person is going to be coming. Get the pass going this way, up the ice, angle from these boards, come down and around. Again, apply a little resistance, but ultimately let them stick check you, take the puck, angle you to the boards. Uh, boys or girls, whatever level you're playing, that's going to be a different type of fundamental that you have to practice. Go in, apply a little back pressure, go shoot, score, and we'll move. Now that the warm-up drill is complete, go to the all four of the blue lines. Blue dots, neutral zone dots. Four dots, whatever you want to call it. Um, pucks at all four dots in the neutral zone. Hurricane passing. All right, hurricane passing, what it is, opposite sides go. You are going to pass straight across. You're going to follow your pass. You're going to get the pass back. Go up the ice, pass to this line. Get the pass back, one touch. One more time, get the pass back, one touch. Go up and around, receive it. And boom, boom, into open ice, go in, shoot, and score. At the same time, the reason it looks like a hurricane is because the other person is going at the same is going as well. All right, they come down and around. They make the pass across to this person. They get it back, get it back, 
pass to the front person in line, get it back, get it back, uh, and get it back. All right. So you're going around the center dot, the center circle, go down, shoot, and score. Keeping up with the four dot de four dot theme, we are going to uh, add yourself a cone. I usually just use pucks, right? diagonally basically you're creating a little square between the four lines all right super simple player is going to go out with the puck they're going to button hook make the pass receive the pass back go in shoot and score all right the other side is going at the same time so again you're going outside from, I guess you would consider this the outside. Outside to inside, make your play. Boom, one touch, leave the pocket space, go in, shoot, and score. All right. Building off of that drill, again, going from alternate sides, and this is kind of might, depending on the hockey IQ of the team that you're coaching, you might need to put a cone down into this area because we're mimicking getting low and slow so the same concept these two p players are coming down they're making the pass the line but instead of getting the pass back this pass is going straight across and the reason i add that cone is to basically time time the drill right um if you don't think your players need it feel free to not use it if you want to scoot the cone up a little bit maybe into this area you're more than welcome to as well but for this drill's sake, go down. This pass is across. Come up with speed. Straight through. Go in. Shoot and score. Same thing out of the other side. Go up. Zip that pass. Zip the pass straight across. By time and speed. Get up the ice. Receive the pass from your line. And get going. One little variation you can do here with this drill as well. If you wanted to add it. Is if when this pass comes across here you can do a indirect pass and this player can come through and pick up the puck that way um either way doesn't matter it's just a another tidbit of information that you could use so so far let's uh, kind of recap where we're at so we started with um three cross it was that first drill all right and then we did sideboard crosses was the drill where we had the players here, coach here, touch the boards, come back through the middle. Then we went into side pressure, which was the drill where we had players here. We flipped our lines over. We made the pass, move the pucks up, and we made the pass here. Boom, applied side pressure, took the puck. Back check, back check, get out of the way. Then we went into hurricane passing. Hurricane passing, obviously with all of our players here at the center, or neutral zone dots, I don't know why I can't say neutral zone dots today. Obviously the coach is out of the way, making the pass straight across, following their pass, receiving their pass, giving it back and around each time, one touching. Another, I kind of, I forgot to mention, but another variation you can do of this drill is if you want the puck to just move around the perimeter and not do the one touch through the middle. Um, again, depending on skill level, if you think that that might be a little bit easier to keep the flow of the drill moving, uh, feel free to do so. So you get the puck moving here, and instead of hitting the person coming through the center, you just keep moving the puck around the perimeter until they get the puck back at the end. All right, hurricane passing. Um, then we went right into cone ups, where we come out, quick button hook, one touch, off and in, and then cone ups, timing. Cone ups, timing. If you want to add the cone right there, you make the pass, you come down, button hook. Make the pass straight across. This person picks up speed. If you want to make that indirect play, if you want to make it right to the tape, 
feel free to do so. So, so far, we say the warm up drills, maybe, eh, get, get a little top to right here, maybe 10 minutes through all of them, three minutes a piece. Hurricane passing, five minutes. Cone ups, three minutes a piece. So we're at about six minutes there. So 10, 15, we're about 21 minutes into practice so far. One more drill here. Oops. One more drill here at the center in the neutral zone dots. So we just did our two cone ups. Now, I love passing and I love concepts. So how, what is the problem? What is the problem? Why do we have the problem? How do we fix the problem? A lot of times, the, this next rule kind of is going to work on this. A, a lot of times players, if they're going in, there's a defenseman, they're the forward with the puck, in a one-on-one -on -one scenario here, they go straight at the defenseman. They don't get laterally. They don't move laterally, right? A lot of what success, a lot of success happens when players start getting their feet moving one way or the other, and that forces the defenseman to start moving their feet, right? So what we're going to work on here, neutral zone. So for example, they go out of opposite ends. You move the puck straight across to the first person to line. Uh, I'm not going to add the actual Ding up aspect of this just because it's going to kind of throw a wrench in everything. Um, but this person gets down and around fast, gets the pack back from the first person to line. Now here's where the kicker is. They got to get their feet crossing over, picking up one leg over another and moving quick. All right, they get their feet moving, going fast crossovers. They have to go over speed or they won't gain anything from this drill. All right, really pushing, using both legs to push. They're going to create speed and they're going to go down Broadway again. Um, I always say go down Broadway, but they really should be taking a step left or right and shooting that way. Um, so same thing going out of this side. Puck moves across the neutral. Get down and around. Receive the puck back. Get your feet pumping. Pumping through and back. All right, it looks like uh, the infinity sign. All right, fast feet down and around, down through Broadway. Whichever way they want to shoot, take a step left or right. But really, really hammering the fact that they're picking up their legs and they're moving them quick and they're making quick pushes and using both legs to push. A lot of times I see players doing quote-unquote crossovers, but they're not actually picking up their feet and using both feet to skate. Here's where we start to apply that last drill into a more of a game scenario. Let's put a line of defenders. Again, off-season practice here. Uh, if forwards want to play defense, defense want to play forward, let them do so. Um, they're kids and they need to learn. Um, but that being said, that's going to be our defensive line regardless. Um, moving into the actual substance of the drill here. It is very important that our defensemen, defense women, whatever you want to call them, know how to gap up and gap up properly. You cannot lollygag up the ice and then slowly turn your feet back. It needs to be an explosion, straight back, and get your feet pumping. Move these defenders here, my bad, this is my, my apologies, and move this def line of defense right here so that they're able to get down here and gap up, all right? And then this one will get down here and gap up when it's their turn. All right, so they get down and gap up. Now it's about this forward getting three hard and changing the angle of the defense. When the defenseman gaps up, angles through, and they're trying to get, uh, and they'll just play a one-on-one -on -one all the way through, all right? At the same time here, so if we draw it out from the other side, I didn't do a particularly good job of drawing it on that side. D. D. All right. So same thing, going out of the other side. Make the pass across. This person receives it. They go at the same time. They drop it. Leave it to the outside, get out of the way. All right, pick up speed, same thing. This defender comes through the center of the ice. Uh, we want to try to stay Dotson in here, obviously, because of the lines. Um, but uh, if it's not a perfect game, so try to keep it as perfect as possible. Get speed going up and through the middle. 
obviously opposite lines going at the same time so I feel bad because I've done a horrible job drawing this one up I'm going to show the entire drill being done at once this line we'll call this line one call this line two call this D pairing one call this D pairing two all right line forwards one make the pass across to forwards three and then we'll call this one four all right make it over to forward three forward three catches goes forward one at the same time is going receives a drop pass comes up the ice gets fast feet at the same time d2 is coming down and gapping up all right play it we're trying to get wide create a little snake action all right at the same time that's going on Player two, forward two, passes across to player four, forward four. Forward four, heads out, drops the pass over to player two, forward two. D pairing one, scoots up, gaps up, gaps up and times it, gaps up fast. And forward two, snakes their way down the ice, trying to create a little bit of separation. Play at one-on-one. -on -one. Um, finish the drill, obviously, if you want to let them play it out for... Five, ten seconds after the initial rush, be my guess. If you don't want to, as soon as the puck is gone, blow it dead, be my guest. If you want to have this drill run on a whistle, be my guest. Uh, if you want them to try to run it on their own, be my guest. All right, so we're up to about, eh, probably about 40 minutes of practice now. Um, obviously, we started at uh, the beginning with our coaches' drills here in the middle. Pucks here, center, or center, coaches, and players, right, hitting with the pass. The other one comes straight across, hit with the pass through the middle. Other one flip the line over, hit with the pass, move the pucks up, hit pass, angle down and around and through, which we then went into hurricane passing at all fours. We're going down and around, down and around, down and around. Super quick, brief. You know, recovery or <laughs> brief overview of what we just talked about. Um, going into that and then into our cone ups. Obviously, we're going here, here, down through. Second variation of the cone ups here, straight across, down and through. We then moved the cones out here and kept the lines the same. All right, pucks at all of them. Went down. Out of opposite sides. Received the pass here. Got speed, swiveled up through the neutral zone. Same thing went out of the other side. Got the pass, swiveled up through the neutral zone. Which led us into the last drill that I just showed. Right, D... D forwards at all of them in which we just showed it so I'm not going to draw it up again um, if you have any questions you can you can rewind the video um, with that being said we're about 40 minutes into practice now um, if you have the horses to do so you can break up into some smaller groups um, in this case I'm going to split the ice into two essentially on this half of the ice over here have the have the players split into groups of two if you have to do a group of three no problem one will just have to sit out uh good old-fashioned game of tag one player puts their stick down the other player they're on opposite sides you can't reach over they're using their edges to get up and around trying to catch each other all right go for i don't know maybe 30 seconds at a time um if they catch them if they catch the person they're going with, just have them tell them to start back over um, and get back right back into it. 30 seconds at a time. If you have a group of three, one person has to sit out, so be it. Um, but yeah, they're just playing a good old-fashioned game of tag. Um, put their sticks on. If you want to, use both of their sticks, and you can go like this, and you can kind of line them up to make it a little bit wider. Uh, that makes the drill a little bit more advantageous. Uh, if you want them to just go one stick. Uh, you're more than welcome, but I do recommend putting both their sticks down together so that they have to kind of travel around it. Uh, biggest thing is don't let them reach over to tag because um, that defeats the purpose of the, of the drill. After you complete that drill, we'll take you into one of my absolute favorite drills, uh, scissors attack drill. 
um, have the players make this pass. So depending on the size of your practice, you can run it both ways or just one way. In this scenario, I'm just going to run it out of this one side. Um, you're going to start with the player here, player here. You're going to pass, have the players pass, have the lineup here. All right, I'm very big on habits. All right, as soon as this pass is made, all right, put it on the tape. And as soon as they start going, they need to hustle in the line and keep the practice moving. I hate when practices slow down. Um, you're going to slow. So this pass is made. Sorry, I went on a random tangent. Player, we'll call this player one, player two, and player three is passing. All right, player one passes down. Player two passes it back. As soon as it hits player one stick, they're going to go. They're going to leave the puck to the outside. Why do we leave the puck to the outside? To keep the puck away from the pressure. Obviously, this is where the pressure is going to be. We want to keep it away from that. All right, player two is going to travel up the ice, receive that drop pass. Um, Kirill Kaprizov is an excellent resource um, of this skill. I want the players to mohawk turn, open up their hips, go down, so that they're facing the middle of the ice, right? I don't want their backs facing the backs facing the play and power turning into the inside. Alright, so same thing going here with player one. Player one receives or gives the pass. They mohawk and they get wide. They get into the corners. They don't want to shut they don't want to cut the corner here and you know kill the angle and kill the the timing aspect of this drill. So once they get down there, they're going to Open their hips, face the middle of the ice, just like Kirill Kaprizov of the Minnesota Wild, number 97. I think he won the Calder. And they're going to then time this play with player number two down through the middle of the ice. And they're attacking fast with speed. Hit them and get that, pa get that pass and the puck off your stick fast. You don't want to catch, skate a little bit, and then shoot from here. You want to get the puck, get it on your stick, and get it off your stick. Don't kill your angle, right? So if I can show that just a little bit better here, run that drill, I don't know, maybe three, four, five times through. Should take about five minutes each side, um, which should give you about 15 minutes on this side of practice. So five minutes of tag, I'd say about ten, five each side. So run five minutes on this side, five minutes on this side, that's 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes on that side. On the other side of the ice, it's going to be 15 minutes of skating. So various different skating drills. If Depending on how many goalies you have, you don't need a goaltender down here unless they also want to partake in the skating. Um, that's up to your discretion. Uh, first skating drill, what we're going to work on is something I always say. If you can skate on one leg, I will make you really, really, really good on two legs. So you're going to give the players a puck. And simply, you're going to have them C-cut around the ice with one leg. Uh, I will tag a youtube video that i have done that kind of shows um shows this skill this skill will also be um in my database for you to see um and i will tag that in the the description as well so be on the lookout for that and that's going to help you kind of describe the the drill itself do that for about uh two or three minutes it's very tough uh, especially if they've never done it before really hammering on the fact of bending your knees and keeping your, your core tight and not flailing your arms and your upper body all around. We are then going to build off of those C-cuts by doing a favorite of mine. Yeah, depending on how big your players are, you can probably get away with doing three lines here. Um, the player's going to go up. They're going to drop their left knee, hold their right, big circle, down and around, up and through. All right? Again, I'll tag a video that shows this skating, but it's called I call it the Caulfield because I learned it from Paul Caulfield. Um, drop your left, hold your right, up and down and through. Very tough if they've never practiced it before, but drop their left, hold their right, down and through. All right, when I say drop their left, their left knee touches the ice, their right knee or their right skate stays on the ice. So that's what's keeping them propelling around in this corkscrew and getting them up the ice. So they go down to one knee, they hold it all the way around, down and through. Um, it's a great drill for knowing where your edges are and how to use them. Again, run that drill. Uh, depending on how they're picking it up, 
uh, run that drill for anywhere between three and five minutes. Uh, if they're picking it up well, uh, run it for five. If they're not, uh, go into this drill because finding their edge is what they're going to need to work on. And this drill is obviously very rudimentary, but very good for finding their edge. Um, we've all done it a million times before, but we not a lot of people do it properly. All right, you're going to be here. You're going to go on to one leg. So you take one or two, three good hard strides, one leg. Now a lot of times players get out of their t uh, their power turn right here. All right, we want to hold our right leg down and around until we get flat. Once we get flat, we do one hard push off our right. Yeah, it would be that way. We want a hard push off our right onto our left. Hold, 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 hold until we get flat on the top of our skate. And then we push off our left, hold our right, hold, hold, hold until we get flat on top edge of our skate, push our right, hold our left, hold, 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 hold on top of our skate, push our left, hold our right, hold, 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 hold. I should have added a sixth cone, so we hit each side three times, hold, 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 push off our right, hold our left, and off we're at. All right, and then you can be down here. Put your line back there. All right, so hammer that drill because that's a very, very good drill to practice even if, you know, it seems something very elementary. So now we have done our one-legged pushes. Our caulfield is what I call them, um, where we corkscrew up and around, right? And then our inside edge. All those drills should take about, the first one do for about three minutes, second one do hopefully about five minutes, and this one do about five minutes. Um, after that inside edge, work on our mohawks a little bit. You can keep the cones exactly the same as what they were for the last drill. Four, five, six. Players in the corner. All right, get speed. Open your hips. Hold, 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 hold. Push off your right. Flip your hips, hold, 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 push off your left. Flip your hips, hold, 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 push off your right, hold your hips, so on and so forth. Just mohawk turns. This is way too far out on this diagram. Cones maybe 10, 15 feet apart on the on the actual ice um it's very tough to go from dot to dot so i, I should have drawn that up a little bit better obviously after you do your 15 minutes yeah it should be about 12 minutes each side 12 minutes each side flip obviously do the same drills for both you know for the other group um and that should get us up to about the hour and 10 threshold is what i would say um Obviously, take into account picking up pucks and moving pucks and re-explaining drills and things like that. Um, so on paper, we're at about an hour and ten. Uh, you might need to slow shorten up some of the drills, but that's you know, I, that's up to your discretion. So just be cognizant of the time. These drills will obviously take up the full the full hour and a half is what I have it set up for, or hour and twenty minutes. Um, one little last thing to wrap up the practice uh play some sort of game um in this uh, in this instance let's play who let the dogs out so what you're gonna do is we're going to put oh no three white jerseys three dark jerseys all below the goal all right and the goal we'll put three white jerseys out here and three dark jerseys out here. All right, and the goal, and the, so what we have to kind of do here is kind of set up a a no player zone. So the no player zone, you got to stay out from here because you don't want them just making a two foot pass. All right, we want the pass to at least be about five feet. So give them. Hey, you can put. Depending on how the drill is going, you can put one to three pucks out. So if the drill is going good, uh, put out more than one puck. If it's um, tough to get going, just put out one puck. And the goal is to move without the puck, move to space, use it, use your teammates, right? So for this for this example, we'll just have one puck out. Let's say puck moves here, right? Now this white 
this white player need this white jersey needs to move to open space while this defender is defending this player and also cutting off this passing lane, right? So you're moving without the puck and you're trying to find the openings. So let's say that this pass is made in direct tape to tape, right? Now this player gets to come out. They have the puck. Now it's a four on three with a two on three down under under the goal line. So now they're moving the puck around the neutral or around the around the the zone, all right? They're trying to find their next open teammate, right? Puck gets turned over. Dark gets it. Dark passes it, all right? However it gets there. That dark comes out. All right, now it's a four-on-four four in the middle, two-on-two two below the goal line. All right, the first team to get all of their teammates out, let's say Dark gets them all out, is the winner. All right, super fun, honestly. Uh, I wish I could go play it right now. Um, and it's great for getting your head up, making crisp passes. If they don't put the puck on the tape, don't just let them rim the puck down below the goal line. All right, um, make sure you cut off just like kind of five feet. Obviously, you don't need to put anything there. Um, but as a coach, just, you know, shot collar them if, if they, uh, start, start heading across that line. So that's got 12 players, uh, play it for as long as you want. Super good, good drill to incorporate different things. So don't feel, don't be afraid to stop the drill and actually go over, over, you know, the different concepts and moving without the puck. Obviously, the players below the goal line need to stay below the goal line, but that doesn't mean that they can't move. That doesn't mean that they can't defend each other, right? Put the puck tape to tape, move without the puck, move with the puck, um, and that's that. Um, with that being said, that's an hour, that's at least an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, it's more of a skill uh, skill setting the big themes of it were obviously passing and then really getting our feet moving, I thought, um, is what I really wanted to hammer on. So taking those three hard, you know, not attacking defenders straight up, but actually creating speed and swiveling down the ice. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate you uh, tuning in and obviously being a member of mine. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Blake at foxvalleyhockeytraining.com or 920-810-5250. I'd love to help, um, you know, offer anything that I can. With that being said, this has been a recruitment hockey video, and I hope that this practice runs well for you. Thank you for tuning in.